All right, here we are at uh, Crossroads. So it's two in. So this is the first one. The one we looked at is, I think, three down. And it's the north unit. Okay, so we'll start down here. I'll take you into the garage to start. It's actually give you a pretty good representation of the size because I pulled my forerunner in here. I've got a few more feet here to get the end. There's something on the side, and I was able to fit all the way in um, with my bike rack. So a decent sized garage. And I'm coming right out to the edge, but you could fit it in with something like that on there. This must be for his skis. I'm guessing he built that for ski storage. Not sure what this is. Uh, it's probably the main water shutoff valve for the unit. Okay, so I did look at the boiler before I started the video. I was wrong, it has not been replaced. Um, so that's a Lars cast iron boiler. I'm guessing it's original. I think that it is. Um, I'll have to ask him. I think maybe he had some service work done to it. The Lars I've seen last for 25, 30 years, but you know, it's original. Uh, hot water heater, I'm not sure. It's probably not original. System looks clean. Pretty sure he's had it serviced every year. Uh, washer and dryer. It's the original linoleum floor. And bedroom down here. Carpet's a little rough. It's not bad, it's, it's worn. Paint's in good shape. His original doors look pretty clean. Tile looks good, grout's pretty clean. Original tub surround, again, pretty clean now. He did just have the property deep cleaned. Uh, so original tile. <laughs> By the way, everything went great. Okay, so garage, front door. Sorry, I'm probably moving really fast. I hope this isn't making you dizzy. Coat closet. Town here looks pretty good. Just looking at the sill here looks good. Pretty sure that after he bought this place, he had it painted. This looks like a newer coat of paint, and it's odd that it's a straight line because we're used to seeing crooked lines on these walls. Um, carpet is, I don't say it needs to be replaced, but it's getting, getting towards the end. Here's our half bath up here. So, you know, original condition, but it's clean. He rents it. I don't think he rents it a lot. And here we are on main level. I gave kind of a once over on the windows. They all look pretty good. Uh, kitchen does have the tile granite newer appliances are all Samsung that is a gas fog burner of course this is locked I don't remember if those vent properly or not probably not
newer sink. have a look here so I don't think we have well these are all clean right here no issues with dry rot uh, the seals look to be intact the windows are there's some water spots on the outside but it doesn't look like there's water in between the panes this is probably the one that gets the most sun it's got a nice coat of varnish on it Same with this. He's probably done that himself. All right, upstairs to the master. Just trying to look at that window back there. You probably won't be able to pick it up in the video, but nothing, nothing that looks glaring or bad. All right. Here's our master. What a day. All the wood up here looks good. This is in good shape. Soffit looks good. This looks good. That's faded, but it doesn't really get much weather. Yeah, probably one loose board here. It just needs to be tightened down. It looks like brand new. The sun probably never hits it. <laughs> and then I don't know if you remember, but this is this is locked. They keep this as owner's closet. This is a big walk-in. You know, it goes the length of that wall. And then we've got our master with mint green. Good paint job. I don't know if you like the color or not. These windows all look good. These are east facing, so they're probably all in pretty good shape. Jetted tub, original tub, original tile surround looks pretty clean. So, you know, pretty same story throughout. A lot of original stuff, newer appliances, but I think in much better condition or just worn less than that other unit. So I'll get this off to you today.